Hi guys and welcome to this video. So with Nicole getting closer to the due date, uh, we need to start packing Nicole's Nicole's bag and also the baby's bag. So this video is going to be what's going to go in Nicole's bag and then the baby's bag will be the next one. So what we're going to be doing is putting all this in here. This is full up, so... So this is what Nicole's taken to the hospital. Bastard, sorry. It's it, many trips. <laughs> yeah, we took, it's all over the world, from Thailand to Venice. So, um, here it is. Sorry, Nicole. Um, so that's what Nicole's taken in for all of her bits and pieces, because there's a lot. Right, so first bit we're going to look at is Nicole's snacks and some drinks. So, I got some Percy Pigs, because they're my favourite. Percy Pigs? Yum. Some Kinder Buenos, because they're also my favourite, and I'm thinking if I'm hungry. Nicole loves hazelnut ice cream, don't you? And she's always like, ooh, this tastes like Kinder Bueno. Yeah. You're like, why is he saying that? I got some Eat Natural bars, also yummy. And I'm gonna get some protein bars as well. So grenade, caramel. Chaos. Chaos, they're called. Yeah. Because they are delicious. Like at the other bits. Okay, and I also got some Lucasade. They say this is good when you're in labour, because they um, hydrate you. So use some isotonic drinks. And bring you energy. And I got some straws. Just some metal straws. Probably Mark. So Marcus can um so like this, so like, she'd be feed me. She'd be like in her bath, like, ooh, ooh, and I'd be like, she'd be like, I need a drink, and I walk over with the straw like phew, she'd be like, Phew. Yeah, fit in there. Yeah. Uh, I got my chili bottle as well, so we can just fill that up with Water. Water. So the reason why also Nicole's getting all the protein bars, she was going to get a couple, but then she remembered, I really like them. So now she's having to get the whole box. Marcus will eat all of my snacks, so I need to take more yeah. snacks than I possibly think I need. I am known for eat them all in labour. Like the other day I bought, I did buy Nicole those pretty pigs and two other packs, and I ate the other two packs, so she's had to hide this pack. Yeah. I can't help, I'm hungry. Okay, right. what should we go on next? So I'm actually doing hypnobirthing, so I've bought some things to... Zen the room. Zen. So I bought some LED uh, fairy light. Cause it like zoomed in on me. <laughs> well, you can't see it, but here are so. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Oh, mm -hmm. no. Well, she's got some. Here it is twenty five LED lights, and they're like. They're battery powered, so. So yeah. literally, Nicole's like said to me like, "You're gonna have to go around the room," and I was like. Nah, she's just joking. <laughs> but it turns out she's actually being deadly serious. <laughs> yeah. So I've got to go around and put any likes everywhere. Dim the lights, put them up. I've got also the... got a speaker, so I'm going to put some like spa music on. Some like super music, so I have, to, I have to put the lights up, put the music on. And then I've got some essential oil room spray. Think of that. Which basically smells like a spa, and I'm not going to lie, it smells delightful. Smell nice, it smells it? delightful. Okay, and I also bought a handheld like battery powered fan that Marcus can fan me with. So let's just you know go. So people around. a lot of people say that when you're in the pool the pool is quite warm and you're like obviously your body's going through a lot of strain anyway. So you get very hot so yeah. So basically I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to <laughs> fan her. I'm gonna have to put the shawls in her mouth so she can drink. I have to put the lights up and then I have to keep spraying this bloody spray everywhere because she's like yeah. oh you have to keep spraying it and I'm like great. Actually, we'll talk about it another time. Nicole's on a birthing plan. So we got that. Right. So next, Nicole is going to be taking in her favourite gadget at the moment. Not so much to play with it, but she's going to take it in. Well, I'll take it anyway, just in case. Because at the moment, you're not allowed... Your partners aren't allowed on the postnatal ward. So I'm thinking if he's asleep. She needs to catch up on an animal crossing, basically. Get her fossils and that in. Um, so we've also got, um, obviously, some chargers for the old Switch and the iPhone because you got to be taking them at pictures when the baby's just like, just born and be like, oh my god! And when I'm in labour. Oh yeah, that's another weird thing. <laughs> Nicole wants me to record her giving birth. Yeah. Like, actually set the tripod up, like... Ah! Like... Recording that. She's like, I want to see! So another thing for when I'm in labour, I've just bought like a really cheap Primark bikini. Um... I don't know whether I wear it, maybe I'll be in the nude, maybe I wear it. But I want to have a water buff, so I thought a black bikini would be perfect. And also Nicole's also got her flip flops. Yeah, they say um, uh, slippers or flip flops, but 
I thought flip flops. And I can wear them in the shower as well then. So Nicole's going to be talking about her toiletries next. So this goes along with the old um, flip flops. Because it's apparently, very boring. It's apparently after you've given birth, you have a shower and stuff, don't you? Yeah, they like you to have a shower. So you need to like, you know, don't, so you're not so stanky. I'm not sure about that. Oh. This hygiene. Okay, so I've just got um, uh, shampoo and conditioner. Shampoo and conditioner. And uh, shower gel. Shower gel. That's nice shower gel as well, I'm not even gonna lie. Uh, deodorant. Because she's just a little stunky. roll on. Uh, a little small Ted Baker body spray. It was just one I had and I thought. She's fancy Nancy, jeez. I just thought, why not? Quite nice. I got uh, two toothbrushes in case Marcus does end up staying in, then one each. And Where's I did toothpaste? have toothpaste, but oh yeah, we had to. We had to use it last night because we ran out. <laughs> and then I also put in my um, nipple cream because I'm um, looking to breastfeed, and I just thought it was better just to have it in case I need it. Better be prepared. And alongside that, Nicole's um, got some nipple pads. We don't know how many. Do you know how to take or just? I just picked up a handful. So we've got a handful of nipple pads, just like nipple pads. What are you actually for? Something for rubbing, chafing. No, because your breasts leak. Oh, so you don't go over so your top. Yeah. Oh. Okay. So you're... Yeah. We've also got some uh, maternity pads. I know. So, I think um, you could probably, you know, ask for. Lovely. Some giant knickers. These are actually the wrong ones. These actually go up to my belly button, which I wasn't looking for. <laughs> but I'll be getting some other giant knickers. Knicker news. And then, so then we're going to go on to the different bits. Hang on, actually, to go along with that. And also, Nicole's got a towel, um, just because she thought it'd be nice to have like, her own. And obviously, it's in black again, because, you know. Yeah, new black towel. Most of our towels are white, and I was like, mm, probably not a good idea. Yeah, our towels are white until they, yeah, until I make them all mucky, though. So, I also brought, um, like a nursing night dress, and it unstraps from up here. Unstrapped. It's really hard to show. So like, you're going to be wearing it. And then it basically unstraps like that. And so then, then she, you can yeah. strap it back up. See that? So she's wearing it. She'll unstrap it. Boom. And then boom. So I bought that. That was literally off Amazon for like 20 quid. So I thought, why not? And it came with a little dressing gown in the same material. Kind of like one of those, um, what are they called? Cosmos. Kimono. Kimono. I can't say but yeah, it's just like <laughs> soft t-shirt material. <laughs> but then I also, in Primark, I bought some... These aren't nursing ones, these are just a strappy night dress, but I thought I can easily pull the arm down. And lower it down. And then, I'm not a big night dress person, I wear more pyjamas, so I bought a... Just a pack of long black pyjamas. They're like leggings style. And a little strappy vest top to go with it. So I can have some variety. So Nicole's got some coming home clothes. She's just got like a nice... You can't actually show it. Oh, sorry. Just a massive, massive dress. <laughs> I thought it'd be comfy. She does look nice now as well. And I'll actually. put some um, cycling shorts in to keep me all tucked in. <laughs> down there. And also to stop the chafe. Stop the chafe. And then just a giant cardigan. That's a bit gross, but it's well worn. <laughs> <laughs> it's Nicole's favourite. Um, in case it's chilly. Yeah. Perfect. I think that's everything. Okay. If there's anything we've forgotten, then please let us know. Yeah, is there anything that you know that you would recommend that Nicole takes with her? Um, please let us know in the comments. Because we're first time parents, so you know. We're just going off what other people are taking. Aren't you? She does like watch other videos. Yeah. And like read things and just ask what she's been told to take. So if you think of anything Nicole needs, comment down below. Like and subscribe. The next video will be what we're taking for the baby. So that, one's, yeah. that one's way cuter than this one. This is so, yeah. Anyway, so please like and subscribe and bye.